In the middle of Siberia, veteran foster parents Roman and Yekaterina Vinogradov have welcomed five new children into their family, all the way from Moscow-controlled East Ukraine, more than 2,000 miles away. The Russian pastor and his wife are now raising 16 children, of which four are their own. Kiev and human rights groups say thousands of Ukrainian children have been forcibly transferred by Russia, calling it kidnapping. But the Vinogradovs insist that they just want to help. What I see is that they were in need. My children, they were in need. They were living in children's homes. And what do you mean by stealing? I didn't steal anyone. And they don't think they were stolen either. The Ukrainian children, four girls and a boy, arrived in Siberia six months ago. All are half-siblings aged between three and twelve. The Vinogradovs say they were asked to take in the youngsters after they requested another child through the usual Russian fostering channels. We wanted to take in another child. Social services knew that we wanted to foster another child. I was looking for a girl in the database and that's when they called us and asked, would you like to take children from Ukraine? So they offered it to us. We said, OK, we'll take them in. No, they're not different at all. Children are children. They're absolutely the same. We took children from here in Novosibirsk and from another region. There's nothing that catches our attention that they're different in some way. We expected them to speak a different language. We worried about how to communicate with them. But they don't even know Ukrainian. Under international law, no party to a conflict should evacuate children to a foreign country, except temporarily for a compelling health or safety reason. Ukraine says 16,000 children have been deported to Russia, with only a tiny fraction of them from children's homes. But Moscow insists that it is merely taking in refugees. When the older girls arrived, they said that maybe when they grow up, they'd like to return. I told them, if you want to, we'll help you. We won't just say, go back, but we'll help you. We can accompany you. If you want to live there, then you'll live there. We'll help to rebuild if there's something to rebuild. If there are family members, we can help you restore a relationship with them. The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin, citing credible allegations of the unlawful deportation of Ukrainian children. For now, the Vinogradovs say the children are learning to adapt to their new surroundings.